Greetings, my name is Casey Ferris. I make videos on DaVinci Resolve here on YouTube. And today we're talking about how to edit faster. We're talking about keyboard shortcuts. We're talking about general workflow. We're talking about how to get some chops on the chops. Get it? Cool. Me too. <laughs> I also get it. Just a warning, this is a video for slightly more advanced viewers. So there's a chance that you might be a little confused if you're not super familiar with Resolve. If you aren't, check out this video. It goes over the basics of the workflow of Resolve. Do it. Do it. And why haven't you subscribed? Come on. Let's go. Before we get started, let's take a look at what we're going to be editing. Here at Kevin's Bar and Grill, we know that you're here to casually hang out with your friend while drinking or eating something. So we spend most of our time filling things with other things, whether that's filling a glass with ice or a liquid of some kind. Sometimes we do it without spilling and sometimes we just pour it everywhere. Kevin's Bar and Grill, we fill things with other things. All right, so we're gonna make a simple little kind of commercial thing like 25, 30 second little ad spot. And I'm gonna show you my workflow for editing in real time. But before we get into that, pretty much any time that you want to edit quickly, you're going to have to set some keyboard shortcuts or at least learn ones that already exist. So let's take a look at my keyboard shortcuts up here under DaVinci Resolve in the upper left hand corner. Click on keyboard customization and that will bring this up. So I have just a few things set. First of all, I have Q. If you click on all commands here, you can search. I have that set to start to playhead, and that's going to be ripple trim start to playhead. By default, it's control shift left bracket. I've set mine as Q. W is ripple end to playhead, control shift right bracket, or control shift right bracket. To set a keyboard shortcut, all you have to do is click this little plus next to whatever you want to set and then it'll turn orange, and then you just type whatever you want on the keyboard, so I'm gonna set that to W. The other one I have set is S, that is set to split clip, and I also have P set to append to end of timeline. So, Q is ripple start to playhead, W is ripple end to playhead, S is split clip, and P is append to end at timeline. Those are the only changes I've made, because those are the ones that are the bomb. So I'll run you through my workflow for the quickest way that I've found to edit. Let's go. The very first thing that I like to do is grab my VO. This also works if you have an interview and just drag it down into the timeline. I'm gonna right click and set our track type to mono because it's just a mono VO. And now what I'm gonna do is just play through this and I can cut this audio by hitting S and I'm literally not even going to listen to this. I'm just gonna cut out all of the silence. And so I can make a cut here and then move over to the right and then hit Q and what it'll do is it'll split this clip, select this, delete it and move everything down all in one foul swoop. So it looks like this. And then you can go through and basically just do that throughout the whole clip. Close our media pool so we have a little bit more room. And I'm just gonna go through and cut out all the silence. That's just gonna make it a lot easier to actually listen to this and figure out what we like and what we don't like. Here at Kevin's Bar and Grill, we know that you're here to casually hang out with your friend while drinking or eating something. So we spent- I'll also, while I'm playing through this, I'll trim this a little bit so that these are a little bit tighter. And all I'm doing is using Q and W to trim the edges of these clips. Drinking or eating something. So we spend most of our time filling things with other things, whether that's. So we spend most of our. So this is a repeat. So I'll grab this and hit delete on the keyboard. Something. So we spend most of our time filling things with other things, whether that's filling a glass with, whether that's filling a glass with ice or liquid of some kind or liquid of some kind. Sometimes we do. All right, this is a repeat, so I'll take it out. Of some kind. Sometimes we do it without spilling, and sometimes we just spill it wherever. And sometimes we just, and sometimes, and sometimes we just get stuff everywhere. There we go. And I'm just cutting out all of the repeats. Sometimes we do it without spilling, and sometimes we just get stuff everywhere. And sometimes we just pour it every. <laughs> and sometimes we just pour it everywhere. I actually like that last line without spilling. And sometimes we just pour it everywhere. Kevin's Bar and Grill. 
Kevin's Bar and Grill. We put thing. <laughs> Kevin's Bar and Grill. We fill things with other things. Okay, that's great. And now we have our voiceover. So really, a voiceover or an interview, it's like the glue that holds everything together. Your whole video is going to be structured based on that when it's this style of edit. So now that that exists, we got to pick the B-roll. The quickest way to do this in Resolve, I'm convinced, is using the cut page. Some of you might not be familiar with the cut page, but it's really, really nice for doing this kind of thing. So down in the lower part of the screen, I'll just click on cut. And that's going to bring this timeline into the cut page. The cut page is designed for speed. And without getting super into it, there is a feature called source tape. Source tape opens up all of your B-roll, anything that's in your media pool, all at once. And so it's really easy to page through without having to double click on each clip and open it up and set ins and outs and edit it. You can just click on this button right here that says source clip and it will open up everything. So this is great if you're looking just for a bunch of B-roll. So what I like to do, I'm just gonna move my hand to the I and O keys here on the keyboard so that I can quickly set ins and outs. And then remember we set P to append it end of timeline. So I can just scrub through all of this and set individual ins and outs, like let's say you know, here and here, and then I can hit P to add this to the end of the timeline. And that will just throw this at the end and I can move it around later. Really what we're doing is just selecting the different clips. So I can pretty quickly move through and figure out what I like in, out, P, 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 in, out, P. And now we have all of the footage that we like in our timeline. I can switch back over to the edit page just by clicking on the edit button and I'll hit shift Z to zoom out. And now we have all of our footage here ready for our edit. And now it's just a matter of putting the footage over the lines that make sense. So let's play this back. Here at Kevin's Bar and Grill, we know that you're here to casually hang out with your friend while- Okay, so she's hanging out with this guy. So I'll just put this on the upper track here because I don't want to move these around yet. Bar and Grill. We know that you're here to casually hang out with your friend while drinking or eating something. So we spend most of our time filling things with other things, whether that's filling. Okay, I want to make this a little bit quicker. So I'll just cut out that silence. And I know this line is about ice. That's filling a glass with ice or liquid of some kind. All right, where's liquid? Here's this beer or liquid of some kind. Sometimes we do it without spilling. Actually, we'll do this one for not spilling. We'll do liquid right here. It's with ice or liquid of some kind. Sometimes we do it without spilling. And we'll just trim that. Sometimes we do it without spilling. And sometimes... We and we'll get this messy clip and here. sometimes we just pour it everywhere. Kevin's Bar and Grill. And sometimes we just pour it everywhere. Kev and that's great. We'll say Kevin's Bar and Grill, and we'll put this graphic at the end. This might work great for the beginning, so we'll just throw that at the beginning. Here at Kevin's Bar and Grill, we know that you're here to casually hang out with your friend while drinking or eating something. So we spend most of our time filling things with other things. All right, and we'll just grab a little bit more of this clip. Eating something. So we spend most of our time filling things with other things whether that's filling a glass with ice or liquid of some kind. Sometimes we do it without spilling, and sometimes we just pour it everywhere. Kevin's Bar and Grill. We fill things with other things. That's a good first edit. I'm gonna grab all of these tracks and just hold down Alt and hit down on the keyboard, and that's gonna collapse everything. Hear it. So now everything's on one line. It's just a little bit easier to look at and organize and stuff. Now let's add some music. I'll go up to my media pool, and we have this music. I'll just grab it and drag it down into our timeline. And the first thing I'm gonna do is turn this way down because music always comes in way too loud. I'm gonna turn it like negative 17 or so. Now let's see how it goes. Here at Kevin's Bar and Grill, we know that you're here to casually hang out with your friend. That's pretty good, but this audio needs to be louder. I'll just select everything from the dialogue track, go up to the inspector and boost up the volume. Here at Kevin's Bar and Grill, we know that you're here to casually hang out with your friend while drinking or eating something. 
So we spend most of our time. Okay, so that works. I'll close my media pool. And we want this music to end right when the talking ends. So what I'll do is grab the end of this clip. I'll hit S on the keyboard and just grab the end and drag it down to where it's supposed to be. And then I'll delete this middle part. And now we have a good ending. We fill things with other things. We'll just time that out for now without worrying about how it mixes with this first clip. We fill things with other things. And we'll make that other thing. Give that a little bit more of a handle. Other things. Other things. Great, so that's awesome. Let's grab these last clips and I'll drag this down and I'll drag our music out because I wanna cut this on the beat. This is something that takes a little bit of practice, but really all you have to do is wait until the snare drum is hit and you try and pause it right on the snare drum and it usually works. Okay, there's the snare drum hit right there and I'll just have that start there. So now all we really need to do, I'll just mute this first track, is find a snare drum hit sort of towards the end of this clip, somewhere in here. So let's play it back. There's the snare drum. I'll have it stop right there. I'll grab all of this and move it back down and I'll let these clips snap together. And let's listen. This transition isn't very good, but because it's synced up with the beat, I can actually just take this and roll it back this way to a place that is a little bit less awkward. This part's not working, so we need to kind of come in a little bit later. Again, cutting right on the snare drum. And if you don't quite get it right, you can always grab this track and hit greater than or less than to kind of move it back and forth. That's a decent music edit. Probably no one will notice. Good enough for government work. And I'll unmute our first track and see how it sounds. And sometimes we just pour it everywhere. Kevin's Bar and Grill. We fill to make this a little bit smoother, we can right click and add a crossfade. Sometimes we just pour it everywhere. Kevin's Bar and Grill. We fill things with other things. Kevin's Bar and Grill. We fill things with other things. So there's our music. I'm gonna space out our VO a little bit. Sometimes we do it without spilling and sometimes we just pour it every. And now I'm just gonna space things out a little bit just to give it a little bit of breathing room because it's coming through a little bit quickly. Take everything down and let the music start a little bit before the audio starts. Here at Kevin's Bar and Grill, we know that you're here to casually hang out with your friend while drinking or eating something. So we spend most of our time filling things with other things, whether that's filling a glass with ice or liquid of some kind. Sometimes we do it without spilling and sometimes we just pour it. And we'll give this just a little more room. Just pour it everywhere. Kevin's Bar and Grill. We Kevin's Bar and Grill. We just pour it everywhere. Kevin's Bar and Grill. We fill things with other things. Sometimes we do ice or liquid of some kind. That's filling a glass with ice or liquid of some kind. And once we have this kind of spaced out the way that we want, we can just fill in the gaps with the B-roll. Here at Kevin's Bar and Grill, we know that you're here to casually hang out with your friend while drinking or eating something. So we spend most of our time filling things with other things, whether that's filling a glass with ice or liquid of some kind. Sometimes we do it without spilling and sometimes we just pour it everywhere. Kevin's Bar and Grill. We fill things with other things. All right, I'll fade the last part of this music. And now we have our edit pretty much locked in. One thing I'll do is animate this graphic. Easy way to do that is just be over it here in the timeline and click on Fusion. That'll bring this up in the Fusion page. 
I'll grab a background node and merge it over our graphic. I'll select our media in and hit one on the keyboard so we can see it here on the left. And with my background node selected, I can just grab this eyedropper and I drop that color. And then I can mask it with the rectangle mask. And we can just put this mask over this bottom line and we'll just animate it this way. I want it to end by just revealing our words. So I'll set a keyframe on the center of this mask and move back over to the beginning of our comp. And I'll just move the mask over to just cover those words. And now we have a little animation here that kind of types in those words. We're done in Fusion. I'll just click on Edit, and that will load in that animated graphic. We can also just select the graphic, and over here in the Inspector, click on Dynamic Zoom. And that'll start with this zoomed in. Kevin's Bar and Grill. We fill things with other things and it'll zoom out over time, which is perfect for a graphic like this. So this is pretty great. Let's say we want to add a quick color grade. We can color grade everything all at once. If we go to the effects library and go down to effects and grab adjustment clip, drag this down over everything that we want to color correct. I'll just make sure it's over all of our clips. Then we can go to color and with our adjustment clip selected here, scrub through here to a shot with people in it and we can do our basic color correction. By the way, if you don't know how to do color correction at all, check out this video that shows you how to do it. Just add some kind of basic look here, just so things look a little more poppy, you know? Scrub through and make sure things look nice. I feel like it looks pretty good. Heck, we'll even add a little warmth. I'll just push the gamma a little warmer. I'll just add a little bit of nice cozy atmosphere. Switch back to our edit. One last thing is we have these black bars over everything. I'm just gonna zoom this in just a touch to get rid of those. I can hit Control C and then shift select all of my clips here and hit Alt V. And I'm just gonna check zoom and hit apply. And that's gonna zoom everything in just how we wanted. One last thing is I think I'll take this music down just a touch and let's take a look at what we got. Here at Kevin's Bar and Grill, we know that you're here to casually hang out with your friend while drinking or eating something. So we spend most of our time filling things with other things, whether that's filling a glass with ice or a liquid of some kind. Sometimes we do it without spilling, and sometimes we just pour it everywhere. Kevin's Bar and Grill. We fill things with other things. That was a lightning round, wasn't it? Whew, that was quick. <laughs> mm. If you enjoyed this video, I think that you might also enjoy this video because we go over the workflow of Resolve and how all the pages work together and such. Huh. Mm, it's good. It's good. You thought I was going to say something witty at the end, didn't you?